Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Holland Drak and we are playing Hearts of Iron 4 on veteran difficulty as the Germans. Welcome back in the last episode, Stalingrad fell and Paris fell as well. Uh, oh, that rhymes, and what rhymes is good. Um, yeah, we're, we're making lots of progress, it looks like the Continental War will come to an end soonish. And then we will go into the next phase of this war. The the fourth phase actually with the the building up phase we had the consolidating the east phase we have the con big continental war phase and then we will have the finnish england phase it's actually going well we finally managed to split them in two i don't think they will be able to hold on to this and this gives us access to the oil fields of baku down here very very tasty oil can't wait for it. Uh, Once we're moving forward over here, still, uh, I mean, the Panzer Army is now kind of missing its orders. We haven't moved forward over here, but at some point they're gonna be they're gonna be shot in the back. Actually, we might start attacking over here to bind them. I'm not sure why they're using the tank. Uh, the tanks in that area tanks in the mountains It's not the smallest idea Could we Take that area no, Can't okay Yeah, I'm kind of happy we're building some some suppression forces Over here um, the cavalry divisions And yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this all goes. At some point, I wasn't quite sure if I hadn't misjudged the situation. We kind of had a very different outcome than historically because the Soviet Union attacked us instead of we being able to blitz the f blitz the Poles, then blitz the French, and uh, then move against the Soviet Union. But it seems like um, didn't have any lasting consequences. Now this is desert, which is unnice. Uh, I guess I might have to pull some of those units um, away. I don't really think that the panzers are too useful over here now. I might just pull them off. We've got the wolf packs researched. With our submarines organized into packs, the coordination between them is greatly improved. Once an enemy is located, our submarine lies in wait until the rest of the pack arrives, attacking only when the odds are overwhelmingly in our favor. Good thing is that this adds organization to our submarines and more rating coordination and more surface detection. Um, yeah, let's go down here for the advanced submarine warfare. I kind of feel like I have to research another submarine type soonish. Do have a huge amount of things that we have to repair. But oh well. Oh, we need more oil and more rubber. Guess because we gained more factories. Yeah, we have we have more factories now. We've been starting to produce some more medium tanks now uh, as well. Uh, in a couple of days we're gonna get the backhand blow tactic. I think this is the one before the last um, tactic in our Blitzkrieg um, doctrine tree. Oh yeah, and we took um, Tiflis and Yerevan. Yeah, these guys are only on retreat now. They're not really in a position to fight anymore. They're done for. Yep, I think the war against the Soviet Union is won. They didn't manage to make a stand. They did not change their war tactics, and they attacked us in the wrong mo at the wrong moment. Okay, um, that's the last one, Modern Blitzkrieg. Increasing the breakthrough of our tanks, increasing the organization, and also increasing tanks and armor variants um, recovery rate. Great. Pinnacle of Mobile Warfare Modern Blitzkrieg incorporates all the latest advances of technology and the lessons learned from previous doctrines. 
And then we'll, we'll be done. We have one more slot to research other stuff. I mean, it could take a while to to bring up our navy to snuff. Um, what about the Free American Empire? How about a non-aggression non pact? They're nearly there. Nearly there. Let's hope that works. It would be kind of nice to have them uh, on our side instead of having to fight them. Hmm. Why is that not working? Oh, the fall of Baku. Earlier today, German forces successfully occupied the city of Baku, a vital strategic objective in their war against the Soviet Union. Located on the shores of the Caspian Sea, the city is the key to the Caucasus, and its many oil fields are sure to benefit the German war effort. Its capture puts Germany in a position to expand the war into the Middle East and possibly even India. Another victory. Good. So it seems like that is done. That chapter is over. Yeah. What? I, I thought it said um, capture of Baku. Seems like it was a bit premature, wasn't it? Well, we'll, we'll be done now. Okay. What, what is that yellowish tinge over here? Do we have some sort of toxic fallout? Or is it just because we, we're getting into the south? I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, we got those oil fields. Very good. That makes me happy. Um, and we're gonna use those panzer soldiers. Yeah, you're not going to get another front. On here, we're gonna use those panzers to give them to the first panzer army, and we're gonna assign those divisions to that to that army. We're gonna strategically redeploy in that area, and then we'll have nearly a full panzer army in the west, commanded by Erwin Rommel. Well, we do have better Panzer Commanders now. There's also something to be said for making even smaller Panzer Divisions. Going down to a combat width of 10. Um, let me just... Oh yeah, we have 496 army experience. So I should actually start um, producing variants of the Leopard. I could also do something like this. And maybe pull off some of them. Pull off you, pull off you, pull off you. Well, that's gonna hit the organization pretty hard. I guess I gotta pull off one of these guys as well. Mm. I won't be using as many supplies. We won't be needing as many tanks. And we could basically make um, more of those units and more of those divisions being more flexible instead of having bigger bigger panzer divisions I'm not sure but for now I'm gonna use my army experience to create another variant I think we wanna go with the with the leopard over here so let's produce let's produce variant A of the leopard um, the speed doesn't really matter what matters is the gun definitely want, a more, att want more attack Speed is not relevant. Let's push up the reliability. And let's also push up the armor. I think that is going to increase the hardness of the division. Ah, oh, and that just won't do it. Reliability 88%. No, oh, crap. Okay, less armor, more reliability. That looks fine. It's gonna drop down the speed, but they don't need to be very speedy because we're mainly using them for for helping our infantry. So Leopard A is what we're going to produce down here. Leopard A. It's gonna hit our production efficiency, but it's gonna be good for our troops. We still need some units to reinforce. Those guys are going to redeploy strategically. Now the only thing that we need is rubber. Um, kind of don't have the capacities to build some strategic refine uh, some 
some synthetic refineries right now. We have to make do. Ooh, triumph in France. Our victory in France is nearly complete. The French government has asked for an armistice and our diplomats have prepared terms which they have agreed to. They will retain control of southern France while we are free to occupy the rest. Now, what should we do? Should we leave them Vichy France? Taking some puppet uh, divisions to garrison that area? I don't think so. I think we'll conquer everything. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We will we will want to conquer everything. Where are my panzers? There they are. Redeploying home. Oh my repression forces. Oh they're getting there with the training. I mean it's not really needed that they are trained, but deploying them green is also kind of a waste, so why not do it like that? Um, I think my other tank division could also be removed to the west. Third Panzer Army is kind of kind of useless over there. Um, what we should do is we should make some sort of border defense over here. Although, maybe not. But if we were to take Iran, we might be able to move into British Raj. We won't be able to do it from here. Well, what I kind of would like to do is attack and take over the Scandinavian states. Because they have a lot of resources that I could use. And Norway is actually part of the Allies. I'm just not sure that Panzers are the right thing to use over there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop your orders. Hands army. And then we want all of you guys in Frankfurt, I think. Just come back home. And then we'll see how it goes. You're definitely not needed in the East anymore. Let's just pull them back. I mean, Soviet Union still has not capitulated. It's 80% towards capitulation, but we still have ways to go. Mm, got an expeditionary force from the from Greece. Oh, you have built some divisions, right? So I'm just gonna take them, maybe. I'm gonna take your four divisions. And we're going to give these divisions to the Schwarzmeerwehr. And we will garrison this whole area. So that no one can land. No one can invade us by sea. At least that's my, my idea. Kind of. Oh! The Brits managed to land over here. That is annoying. That's kind of shitty. I don't like it. Holy crap, that was a big carrier out there. We're done with the encryption, pulse code modulation. Let's go for the decryption then. Get the feeling that I have to do some sort of radar station building program as well. Guys, this was not supposed to happen. Come on. Well, the Sparta Corps, you kind of have to garrison some more areas. So do some redeployment. I might have to send the, the third Panzer army down here. I'm not sure if they'll be able to, to do that by themselves. 
Some anti-tank weapons now. Um, oh, stop that. Uh, it's fine. We, we're storing some of the research. I think we're going to go for, for support weapons 4 as well. Just to bring that up. It's just it's just a buff, so why not why not use it? Come on, both of you, get in there. We want as many avenues of attack as possible. Okay, so now we're talking. Now we're talking, get them out of our lands over here. That's annoying. How's it looking over there? Yeah, good. They are defending that area. I like it. They're doing well. And the third panzer army has arrived. Okay, third panzer army, we want you... Yeah, Bordeaux. No, oh, Brest is their, is their main city. Well, we're going to deploy you. Where do we want to deploy you? Over here, I guess. And then we want you to, to move to Bordeaux. of a problem down there got no national focus for, for quite a while insufficient resources and that actually reminds me do we need to be importing oil no we have a lot of oil now so let's go to the trade screen let's actually start doing this so that we get some civilian factories back what else do we have lots of now steel i'm sorry steel so are we importing steel from anyone? Yes. Okay. Steel. Won't be needing that either. Anything else? Tungsten. Got a lot of units of tungsten now. Are we importing tungsten? We are indeed. Okay. Anything else? We're not, we're not Im importing chromium. We're not importing aluminum. Got a surplus in steel. The only thing that um, is a problem now is rubber. We haven't really had any new avenue. They're only de delivering four rubber. Well, we could, well, we could try that. Bring some more rubber to the table. Sadly, CM is no longer interested in trading with us. Um, one of my viewers had, has actually told me that going for the Netherlands early gives you all their colonies as well so if you attack them you will have all your rubber problems solved which is amazing but uh, we couldn't really do that i haven't been able to be aggressive in the west because we had some aggression in the east so come on please finish them Yeah, that's looking good. That's looking good. Where are these guys going? They're retreating somewhere. Don't let them retreat. Finish them off. That's British, which irks me. We haven't been building heavy tanks as of yet, but... Oh, well. Um, can we go for a non-aggression pact? It's, we're not quite there yet. I will have to check back at some some later point, some later date. What, so now we're losing all these battles? That's odd. No, we're getting there now. Um, third Panzer Army. What's the problem? The enemy is stronger, really. You're still preparing. And you're not in place yet. Still gonna give them the order to attack. Just so that things are actually happening. I want France finished. And uh, when we're done with France, 
the world is our oyster, actually. Um, Republic in Spain doesn't seem too threatened by nationalist Spain, so we might actually have to go after Republic in Spain, occupy them, take away their land. Because they are part of the Comintern. We are at war already. They should have thought of that before they did something to me. We're losing that. And we are in another winter in Russia. Second winter in Russia, but um, it's looking very differently to what um, historical Germany experienced. <laughs> 39 divisions. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Um, Soviet Union should capitulate soonish. I mean, we lost half a million units by now. I'm gonna pull back the second Panzer Army. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. The marshes aren't really a problem anymore. How's our logistics? We do have a lot of support equipment by now. Um, the light tanks are the real problem. Also, the medium self-propelled artillery is also not... not getting where I want it. So we have to increase that. Let's just have a look into production. Where's the self-propelled artillery? I'm just gonna push that up a bit support equipment we might cut down a bit on it uh, I think we might have gone overboard let's just give the factories to some other stuff uh, we might need them more for some other things um, yeah that looks good I think I'm gonna end it here we are Advancing on all fronts, things are looking very good. We took Baku, we got our oil fields now. I mean, we're not getting all the oil because it's an occupied country, but we're getting a lot of it. Um, getting some Romanian oil. Oil is no longer the problem. Rubber is the problem. We're taking France. Um, our losses in that war are also half a million, which is kind of big, but if you consider that France has lost a lot, um, the United Kingdom has lost a lot. We're actually making pretty good headway. Should be able to win the Continental War soonish. But for now, I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of this series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye bye.